Hello, friends. <laughs> so, it's a Thursday, and I had tater tots for breakfast, <laughs> and we're making curly fries in this video, but I'm hungry, so I wanted to make something healthy for lunch before we get into the curly fries. So I'm just gonna make myself a smoothie, and I thought I would show it on camera, because as I said to Greg, I wanna show people that I do still care a little bit about my health. <laughs> I want you guys to know that I do eat fruits and vegetables and green stuff sometimes. In my smoothie, we've got some oat milk. We've got some delicious looking greens powder that I got from the grocery store because I was scared of not eating too many green vegetables lately. And then we've got my favorite protein powder, which is still the same one, but it's in a new package, but it's the same thing. It's just in a cooler looking package now. Then I'm gonna do a little dollop of some almond butter. A banana. And some fruit. Okay, so to make these curly fries, we're gonna use the trusty purple KitchenAid. This is like my favorite thing ever. I have had the spiralizer attachment for it for a long time and I've always just been too lazy to figure out how this works. But we figured it out the other day and so I was like, I have to make a video on this. If you have this, I will link it below. It's in my Amazon storefront, which I talked about, um, I think like last video or two videos ago where I link all my kitchen tools and stuff. So if you're looking for this, it is linked below. I'll show you how to use it. So you just turn this little knobby and take this little guy out. And then you take this thing and you slide it in here and then you just tighten that little thingy again to hold it in place. You take your little sharp guy and you put it on here and just turn it so that it snaps into place and doesn't come off. And then the last thing we do is we slide this guy down and we put the blade right in there. So I'm using the medium spiralizer blade. There's also a small spiralizer, a peeler, a slicer. That's that. We're ready to go. So you your pole. And I want to talk for one second about potatoes. So if you were like an OG on this channel, then you might remember there's a video where I was using a potato that was like this big and I called it a medium potato. And then there was this huge debate in the comments about like, why the F I would call this a medium potato. <laughs> and everyone was like, that's a large potato. Like what kind of potatoes do you use? So I wanted to show you what I consider a large potato. This is a large potato. A potato this big to me is a medium potato. And then this to me is like a small potato, okay? I live somewhere where we have an abundance of potatoes. So I feel like I'm pretty well versed in giant potatoes. So this is what I consider a large potato, but I think that might be too big for the spiralizer. So we're gonna go with these little baby potatoes. <laughs> okay, so then you just slide it right onto the sharp thing. And then you just move this right up in there. Greg and I did this already and it spiralized such long, huge pieces. I was like, okay, I need to find a way to cut it. So I cleaned my scissors and I think I'm gonna try and cut it as it's going, but Greg doesn't think it's gonna work. So we're gonna see. If it doesn't work, I'll just try and cut it in the bowl. Then you just turn it on. And it's going to make little kind of small pieces until it gets to the larger part of the potato. Then they're gonna start coming off of here. So I'm gonna try cutting them. Come back. See, I told you it would work. So satisfying. Okay, so look at this. How freaking satisfying is that? It looks like when you curl your hair and it's like super ringlety for the first time. <laughs> this is so fun, you know? You can just make your own curly fries at home. So we're just gonna keep going. Okay, this time for the last one, I just wanna try it a little faster because I've been going kind of slow because I didn't want to go too crazy, but this thing goes up to 10, so. Look at that, spiralizing so fast. You just don't want to get all the way here because then the little prongs on both sides can like break if they start like, you know, rubbing together. 
so we're making the fries in the air fryer because I just like it better than turning on the whole oven if I'm only doing like one thing. But you can definitely bake these in the oven if you want or you could deep fry them if you have a deep fryer, but I don't have one. And I will also link this below too for those of you wondering which one I have. I'm just gonna add some oil. I know it's called an air fryer, but I still like to add a bit of oil to stuff. I know that seemed like a lot, there's like a lot of potatoes in here, but I still like to add some oil because I just like the way it cooks a lot better. You don't have to add oil, but they'll be kind of dry if you don't at least add a little bit. So then I'm just gonna add some salt. And again, it looks like a lot, but there's like a hefty amount of potatoes in here. And then some smoked paprika, just because I don't have regular. And then some other stuff that's really good on this is like garlic and onion powder, chili powder, if you wanna make them like spicy. And then some pepper. And then we're just going to toss it all up. Okay, so I'm just gonna to toss these up so that they all get coated in the spices. I'm trying to be really gentle so that I don't stretch them out and break them up too much, but I do want them all to get coated. There's some of them that are just so perfect. Like, look at that. So air fryer. So I'm gonna dump these in. This is kind of a lot, but I mean, it's not totally full in the basket, so I think it should be okay. So I'm just gonna evenly disperse them around the basket and then I'm going to put it on, I think I'm gonna put it on 400. And then for time, I'll start it for 10 minutes. And then we wait. I think they're done. We did a total of about 20 minutes and I stirred them frequently. And because I stirred them frequently, because I didn't want certain ones to burn and others not get cooked, a lot of them stretched out, but that's okay. I'm gonna take them out. This is kind of just like the crispy potato noodles. Still a more fun way to eat your potatoes, I think. And I made bang bang sauce. If you don't know what bang bang sauce is, I will link my bang bang cauliflower video up in the top corner of the screen. I love it as a dipping sauce with so many things. Still so delicious. Like real good. Yeah, this is like what happens when you curl your hair in humid weather. <laughs> it just like. We still got a few curly boys here. I'm doing this one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is another just like test kitchen type video, but I do have some different videos coming up next. I have one on healthy recipes to make with like bulk and frozen ingredients, and then some other kind of what I eat in a day type of videos. So if you like these kind of videos, let me know, but there are different videos coming soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them. That is everything for me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.